Hi, Sharice here from Fashionably Adorned, and I have um, gotten uh, so many of you asking me how I like my Little Smith propane oxygen torch, and um, is it easy to use, what's the setup, all that kind of stuff. So I am gonna do a little video today to show you about my torch. A couple of things I wanted to go over was, um, so the reason why I chose to get the disposable <coughs> setup system with disposable tanks was because in my mind, I thought that it would probably be a little bit easier. But in reality, now once I get it, propane is propane, oxygen is oxygen. So, um, you know, really, I kind of wish I would have gotten, they have a, uh, so this one was $249 for this setup that I'm gonna show you. Um, that just includes the system here, your hand piece. <clears throat> and then it came with, I wanna say, two torch tips, a number five. Actually, I think it only came with the number five and then I ordered the number one. Um, and then I ordered this little magnetic holder, which is super awesome. Comes, you just, now that just goes like that to hold it. And then a nice gentleman in one of my silversmithing groups sent me the other tips that I have um, cause he just had some lying around and I said I was gonna get them and he said, oh, I have them, I'll send them to you. So. That's what he did. So, um, that's what it comes with. It just comes with your cord here and then your hand piece. So I got a lot of questions on why doesn't this have um, a flashback arrestor and a regulator on it? Um, and the answer is because these heads here are only, they're already preset for the disposable tanks here. I did not get these shipped to me. You can get them on Rio. I just went to my local Ace Hardware and bought them. Home Depot, any hardware stores like that is gonna have them perfectly okay to use. Um, so that's why I don't have a flashback arrestor or a regulator. I will tell you that you're gonna go through a lot more oxygen. You're gonna go through four to five tanks of oxygen to one tank of propane. So going forward, um, I can convert this system over to a larger oxygen tank because then I can just order the flashback arrestor and the regulator for the oxygen part of it and put that on here and be using a bigger oxygen tank, which is eventually what I'll do. Um, now on Rio, this system, the disposable tank system was 249. I did notice when I was on there looking that they actually have a system for oxygen and propane with the regulators and the check valves for 375. So that's always the option. If I would have noticed that or known that, what I know now, I would have gone with that one. Um, because like I said, I'm gonna have to upgrade eventually. <clears throat> so, all right. So the other cool thing, don't worry about when you get it, being concerned about not understanding because the instructions that come with the system are very, very thorough. They're very, very good. Um, so you won't have to worry too much about that. Now, the thing that's nice too is that, so green is always gonna be oxygen, red is always gonna be your gas, and it tells you right up here on your unit, it'll tell you propane, oxygen, but for future reference, red's always gas, green's always oxygen. Don't get confused by the tank colors either, so that it, the colors don't go along with that really. But the cool thing about these two is that they're only threaded a certain way. So they're only gonna go on what they're meant to go on. So you can't mix up the oxygen one on the propane or the propane on the oxygen. It won't work, it won't thread on that way. So I unthreaded mine so I could show you guys how easy it was to do it. So when you get your stuff, you're just gonna put it on. Make sure this is off and then we're just going to you're just going to put it on there and then wind it on and actually i'm going the right way on this one so it's down there and i did when you originally did this i did check for leaks on all that stuff so that's something too i just mixed up some water in a squirt bottle with some um uh soap and just to make sure i don't have any leaks so now i'm going to do the oxygen and with that one, it's gonna thread the opposite way. So it has to go this way to go on or it's not gonna thread on. All right, so that's, again, it's a safety feature so that you can't mix them up, okay? 
So we wanna make sure they're on really nice and tight. Um, this system did come with this little unit here. And so this little unit is what you holds them up. So I will very carefully try to do this. <clears throat> because you don't want to smack them together or anything. So it just goes one there and it goes underneath here. See where it's at? Don't set it up in here. You want to put it right there like that. And then that's, that's what's going to hold my tanks in place. And then I like to have them upright so that my cord, I have it so it's free. It's not going to get caught on anything. Okay, so now we are ready to <clears throat> turn it on and prime our handpiece. Well, obviously when you get this, you'll have to read the instructions and you, it's real easy. This unscrews, the metal piece unscrews is from the housing. This little guy here comes with your magnetic torch holder. And so then you just feed that right on there, up in here, here's the threads, you wanna put it up. And then you're just gonna go like this. Super easy and I love this thing. I definitely recommend that you get one right at the start. Okay, and then I have my little acronym here. It's kind of funny. It just says P-O-O-P -P because the way you want to work your torch is you always want to go propane on first, then oxygen. When we turn it off, we always want to go oxygen first and then propane. All right, so <clears throat> when first you come down here, when you get everything all set up, you're going to turn on your tanks. And I turn them on full, full power all the way open. Okay, and they're gonna tell you all this in the instructions. Like I said, the instructions are really thorough. So um, yeah, don't worry. And it actually took me a few days of reading the instructions. I read through it multiple times, the book, then I set up my tanks, then I read through it again. Then I um, came and started kind of playing with t lighting it. Um, and at that time I was using a, um, a striker, one of the little cup things with the flint on it and you strike it and that was a real pain in the took us. So I actually did purchase this magnetic or this um, automatic lighter. It's on, you just, you'll, I'll show you how to do that. So we have our propane and oxygen on down here at our tanks. And then, so we are gonna turn our oxygen on for four seconds off. And then we're gonna do the same with propane. I usually do mine out my window. And basically what that's gonna do is it's making so that you're clearing your lines here. Um, you're getting, you know that everything is clear, you're getting the stuff out. So at this point in time, I'm gonna put on my to my head. And I use a number five pretty, pretty often. It's a pretty good universal one. Um, how you hold your piece, some people do it this way. Um, and work from this way with your tip down that way. Um, for whatever reason, I just like to do it this way. So there's really no right or wrong with that. It's just whatever feels good to you. And then we always wanna tighten our thread here at our, um, our torch tip, just to make sure that it's on there snug and that you're not getting any propane and oxygen leaking out here, which is gonna cause horrible something horrible to happen. Okay, so. Now we're all ready to actually start uh, using our torch, right? Um, the th question I had when I first got this, I, I had to ask in my group was, now, am I supposed to turn it off um, at the base every time I'm not using it? Um, and the consensus was no, if it's in the same day. So when I'm ready to start in here, I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna do exactly these things I just did, and then, I'm gonna set it here on my holder and that's where it's gonna be till I need to use it. Um, if you're really worried about it, then if you're gonna take a lunch break or you're gonna be out of your, your studio for longer than 20 or 30 minutes, then you can always, by all means, um, bleed out the lines, take the tip off, bleed the line, turn everything off, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then redo everything, start up when you come back in. Um, I generally, as you start to use it, you'll get a little bit more comfortable. So I don't really ever do that. I just leave it on all day. I'm normally in here. If I'm out of here though, for any length of time, like if I have to take a like a couple hour break or something, or I'm leaving my house for to go run an errand or something, then I will come in and I will turn it all off just for safety, like be safe. So, all right, we're ready to go. So 
here is how you're gonna do it. So your red is your gas, so propane on first always, and you only have to turn it like barely. I barely turned it maybe like an eighth. You come over here, you put it down, it's clicking, it's lit now. See, that easy. So we have our propane. This is our propane here, our gas. And now we're gonna add in some oxygen. And then we're gonna start slowly and see how the oxygen's gonna decrease your flame. So add more gas, a little bit more oxygen. So this is how you're gonna have, and this is where the learning curve comes in with this because I have only been using butane blazer torches. Um, this one here, then I upgraded to this big guy here, um, but they're butane. So this is actually propane and oxygen. It's gonna be a lot higher burning gas, burning heat. Um, but you wanna do this guy, nice and low. And so now we are ready to do whatever we're working on, right? So this is, doo -doo -doo. so now to turn it off, you're gonna go, which I still mess up with this. That's why I put my little poop acronym. So I always look at that so I can really get into that habit. You're gonna go oxygen first, then propane off. Okay, so let's say I'm done for the night and I'm gonna close everything down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here to my tanks. I'm going to turn them all the way off and it will tell you on the top which way to turn for off and on. I'm gonna turn everything off, close up my tanks, make sure they're all nice and off tight. Then I'm gonna come up here and be careful if you've been using your torch a lot and you've just used it and now you're turning it off because the tip can be warm. So you don't wanna grab a hold of it and hurt yourself. So we are just going to take the tip off. And from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna bleed your line and you do this every time. So your oxygen, your propane. So basically what that is doing is it's getting all of the uh, leftover um, gas and air that's stored in the line out so that it's all free and clear. And then when you go in and you start it up the next day or whenever, you're gonna turn your gas and your oxygen on at your tank. Then you're gonna open one for four seconds, close it, open the other four seconds, close it, and then you're ready to put your tip on and get going. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying playing with it. I'm enjoying um, the having the hotter heat. Um, at first it's a little frustrating because obviously it's different. So I melted some things and I kind of had to play around with a few things. Um, but taking and looking, watching videos, the other people who have the same torch that I do, the oxypropane, um, I can kind of gauge like their, what their tip looks like to kind of go, oh, okay. So I'm learning now like, oh, it's too hot. I have too much hot. I'm learning how to gauge my flames. And you have different torch tips um, that you can get to put on it here, which is what these are that are down in here. So you have a bunch of different ones. And then also if you have these, you can also drill the hole out bigger. I've had people tell me that you could do that too. This big guy here, is for like if I wanted to be like um, melting anything down or it's gonna give you like a really, this is a rosebud uh, tip I believe it's called. So it's gonna give you a bigger flame. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad that I did it. Like I said, I would have, I probably would have went with that other, the 375 one if I would have noticed it at that time. I didn't for some reason, I'm not sure why, but um, yeah, I'm super happy with it. If I want to upgrade my tor my tanks to the bigger, more permanent tanks, all I have to do is just get the regulators for it and the flashback arresters, and then I can do that. Um, I'm trying to see if I covered everything. Oh, and with this little s torch, the little Smith torch, this one you can actually use with acetylene if you want it as well. Um, I chose propane because you can smell it. Um, I'm more familiar with it because when we camp and we have a propane camp stove and just, you know, but butane lighter, well, that's not propane, but anyway. So it's just, a, I'm more familiar with that type of gas. So that's why I chose to use propane with it instead of acetylene. Um, acetylene is going to be hotter, but for what I'm doing, I don't really need that temperature and it can be a little bit sooty if you're not, if you don't have the right mix of oxygen to gas, uh, the right torch tip. And I don't, I already have cleanup work. I don't want to have more, make more work for myself. Um, 
So that's why I did that. Um, I highly recommend that you get um, the magnetic holder and the torch lighter. It's super, super convenient because a lot of times, you know, when you're constantly lighting and relighting your torch, it's really nice just to be able to be like, Roop, it's lit, I don't have to strike it. And if you want to use a lighter, that's fine too, but just know that you already have gas in that and that's, uh, you know, if it blew up on you or something like that, it's really kind of like, be smarter and just take the necessary safety than trying to cut corners and like, oh, I have a lighter handy, I'll just use that because, um, you know, we want to be safe, especially being a self-taught smith. I have to do a lot of research on safety and stuff like that. And another really quick thing too is that um, I know a lot of people don't know what SDS sheets are or MSDS sheets are. Now they're SDS sheets. When I was in hair school, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Um, we learned about, they were called MSDS sheets, which is Material Safety Data Sheet, SDS, SDS Sheet, Safety Data Sheet. Everything that you use in your studio, chemicals, the torch, all of that stuff will have a SDS sheet. And Rio is really good about having them. If you scroll, if you're looking at anything and you click on that item and then you scroll all the way down to the bottom, they have them in there, you can print them out. I really, really highly recommend you do that because some of this stuff, you should have them, you should have them in a book and you should have them available to grab if you got flux in your eye, if you spilt pickle on your cell, like whatever. Because those SDS sheets are gonna tell you all the safety you need, precautions you need to take, the side effects of what you're using, it's very, very important. Um, a lot of people don't know anything about them and they don't use them and I understand that because if you're self-taught, you probably wouldn't. The only reason I know about them, like I said, is from my school, hair school training. Um, the other thing is, real quick, like a lot of people use liver of sulfur and liver of sulfur is flammable, which I did not know until I looked over the SDS sheet for it. So that's just one thing that I know tons of us use as Smiths. I use it every day on the daily. So. Just things like that, you just wanna be safe. So um, I hope you liked the video, and if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. So we'll see you later.